below in my Happy Planner Mini for the week of April the 29th through May the 5th. So I originally was going to do a black and gold spread in my Happy Planner Classic. But then I decided to do something different in my classic. And so I said, well, I've already set aside some stickers. I might as well use them. So I decided to use them in my mini this week. Um, I've put down some washi tape already. This black one is from um, Recollections. I put that along the center here to cover that lovely Miss Maker color that we have. And then I use this little black and gold one from the Happy Planner to cover all of the other lines. So I'm gonna get started. I'm mainly using stickers from this new Agenda 52 um, Color Pop sticker book that I got. I say new because it's new to me. I don't know how new the sticker book actually is, um, but I hadn't seen it before, so I went ahead and purchased it because they had everything 50% off. And um, if you missed my haul video for that, I will mark uh, that in the cards above so that you could go ahead and take a look at that. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was such a cute book how did this sticker get on the outside of the book je ne sais pas all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get started i probably won't use all of these because it is the mini and you don't need a whole bunch of stickers in your mini but i saw this and i had to use it it says monday checklist coffee coffee lipstick coffee now, i don't even wear makeup every day like i used to when i sold mary Kay award all day every day and i'm not a coffee drinker but i thought the sticker was cute so I'm going to put this down there on Monday cute cute sticker and then I have this follow your dreams and I'm gonna put this down um, in this little box here you know what, I better use the lines because I probably didn't put the washi straight which means if I try to use the washi as a line guide, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and of course I want to cover this doodles. Let me just take a look and see if there's anything I would wanna cover that with. Dream, boss. Well, since it says follow your dreams, we can put hashtag dreams there. I think that's fitting. So we'll go ahead and put that there. I think that's cute. And I can even use that to journal a little something um, if I'd like to do that. Okay, apply lipstick conquer today. So since I have that lipstick sticker over here, I thought I'd put some lips, uh, lipstick washi strip over here. Um, I'm gonna put this on Friday. You know what, I kinda don't want it on Friday, but that's, yeah. We'll put it on Friday. Yeah, like I said, it's not gonna be straight using the washi as a guide. It's just not, cause I know I didn't put that washi down straight. Um, good things come to those who hustle. I'm going to put this down. Here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to white out these boxes. I'm going to end up having to cut off some of this washi because I want to put this right in here. So let's cut. Let's see. Cut the washi. Let's pull that up. And then I'm gonna have to white out the lines and maybe a few more of those boxes. Let's see how this is looking for us here. just gonna have to white out these first two boxes okay 
there we go. Good things come to those who hustle. All right, and then since I have a washi strip over there, I would like to balance it with a washi strip on this side. And this has diamonds on it. Okay. Then I like this little banner, which was one of the reasons I picked that sticker kit. When I saw it, I thought it was so cute. But now that I've started placing stuff, I'm like, where am I going to place this? I mean, I could put it down here. And kind of just take up the rest of the space of that box. I think that's cute like that. We'll do that. I said I could journal there, but hey. <laughs> um, and I have a quote over there, so I want to put a quote over here. Hello, lovely. And I'm going to put this on Wednesday. So once again, I'm going to use the side line here as a guide because I know that I didn't put the washes straight. That's the only thing about when you white out the lines. If you're not good at straight lines, it's hard to get your washi straight once you remove those lines as your guide. That's the only thing I hate about whiting out your lines. I mean, I like some things abstract, but I like a lot of things to be symmetrical as well. So that's that's my my issue. <laughs> Um, Tuesday's a busy day, so let's put a checklist there. I don't know if that's going to be too big and if we'll need to cut it, but we shall see. And that is a little crooked. Boy. Okay, so I'm going to cut that right between this circle. Okay. Now, one thing I'm hating is there's so much linearness going on here. So I'm actually going to pull this up and I'm going to put it over here because that whole straight line of stuff was not working for me. There we go. That is a little bit better. So I'm going to turn this one around actually. And that way I could put my header on there. And I'm going to put this the plan and then I will do another checklist um, on Sunday and I'm probably going to cut this one as well and some bullets because like I said originally I thought I was going to be doing this in my classic I don't use bullets too much in my mini but what I think I'll do is cover up a few of the items on the checklist. Let's see. Can do that on Friday. Okay. And then I have a couple of more that I can use on Thursday. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm just going to put this important sticker down on Monday just so I can write in some things that are of importance to get done. And I'm going to put this dollar sign because there was an issue with the paychecks and they weren't ready and so I need to make sure I double check those because hello people it's the beginning of the month people need their pay I'm just saying and then I have this reminder do I want to use it I could just put it here And I can just remind myself of whatever I need to. Here's a little coffee sticker. I don't do coffee, but I'm going to say it's some um, hot chocolate. <laughs> yes, I drink hot chocolate no matter what time of the year because I like it. <laughs> so there is my spread for my mini this week. Um, I kind of feel like I need to cover up these checklists because all the other checklists are pretty much covered. But then I'm kind of reluctant to add anything else. Um, what I could do is go into my colorful boxes because, you know, they have the whole gold section in there and get one of those thin checklists in gold. Ooh, I have one left. Wow. Okay. Let's see how this is going to look. And put that there. And then it's just bothering me that I have that little bit of blue poking out when I pretty much covered everything else. That looks funny with that one little dot. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, goodness. Alrighty. I think that is it for the mini, guys. I like this. I haven't done a black and gold spread. Oh, goodness. Since, whoa, December. December, for my best friend's birthday, I did a black and gold spread. Like, for his birthday week. Um... And I haven't done that since, I don't think. So I'm really feeling the black and gold. I hate that this is crooked. Um, but I knew it would be because I didn't put the washi straight. But yeah, so I really like this. I really like this new sticker book. Once again, guys, it's an Agenda 52 color pop from the Paper Studio. And like I said, I will link my haul video. Um, I went to Walmart and Hobby Lobby and got a few things, so I'll be sure to link that so that you can take a look at that. If you missed it, I love it. I'm usually not a big fan of the gold foiling, more of the silver, but this is just really popping off of this page. And I think it looks even better because I put the black washi down the middle. So I'm loving it. Tell me, guys, if you're loving it. Comment below if you, know, if you like this black and gold. And I'd love to get your thoughts on it. But until then, you know what to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts. And I'll see each and every one of you in my next video. Bye-bye.